Money Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Monday, April 1st. Brilliant sunshine, still chilly temperatures. We should be into the high 40s, maybe sneak into the low 50s today. We'll have a fast race track. Let's take a look at the fifth and seventh races today. Fifth race is a seven furlong bait and special weight for three-year-olds. And I like number five, Shackled Romance. Shackled Romance will be making his second career start for trainer Scott Lake, who continues to be red hot here at Parks. Now, Shackle Romance in his debut back in February got caught up wide at a speed duel up front and then ended up fading at the end to finish only two and a half lengths behind. Now, his number that he put up that day puts him right with the other two contenders here. Number seven, Powerfully Built, is coming in for trader Greg Sacco. And number eight, Manipulate, who is being sent off by trader Danny Velasquez. Now, again, the Scott Lake Barn has been red hot. Shackled Romance, if he gets a better trip and in his second start is able to up his numbers just a little bit, there's no reason why he can't be right with those other two. And I think you're going to get the best price out of those three. I think you'll get the best price on Shackled Romance. Again, he opens up at 5-1. to one. Let's see if he can't improve just a little bit here today and get to the winner's circle. Hope for a better trip. Let's try number five, Shackled Romance, in race number five. Now, the seventh race is the Stargo race for Phillies and Mares at 1 mile and 1 16th. And here I am going to make you go with the program favorite of the program choice, number four, Queen Nakia, who opens up at a price of 8 to 5 for trainer Anthony Pecorero. I think you might get better than 8 to 5 on Queen Nakia. Now, she was claimed back in September for $20,000 and has fired in four consecutive races for her new trainer. And I think she has a chance to sit a good trip here. There's only eight horses in. I think there's only one other speed horse in here, Abuela Loca. So I think Queen Dakia has a chance to be forwardly placed and be able to get a jump on the late runners today. And, of course, her numbers do indicate that if she runs to what she's capable, she should prove best in here. And I think it might get better than 8-5 to five because there's a couple of other horses in here that might attract some money at the window. So race number seven, let's give the call to number four, Queen Nakia. Good luck.